from the Oak Wall Studios in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for you. That's right, you, the happy people. A few years ago, I was a district director they were, they were called district governor of an organization called Toastmasters International. I was responsible for leading 250 plus clubs in Southern Nevada and Central California. And I got to tell you that that was quite the interesting experience. Some people were to tell me what's been the most difficult part about being a district governor. I could tell you that the number one part was when my wife had cancer surgery. Luckily, as of right now, she is eight years cancer free, knock on wood. But I've also experienced many interesting challenges that made me say, oh my. One of them happens to be, well, let me, before I even say this story, let's just say that whenever you're in any type of leadership position, you're not there to be anybody's friend, you're there to accomplish a goal and do the best job you can with that role, whether you are impressive to people or not. And I can tell you that for as many friends as I do have in this organization, especially in this leadership role, I have those people that aren't too crazy about me. And today I'm going to tell you about a story about someone that wasn't too crazy about me when I was doing my role as district governor. How crazy aren't they about me? Well, let's just say they wrote a lovely email and if you were to see this person writing the lovely email out of anger and out of frustration, I've been called unprofessional, I've been called no good, I've been called crooked, and I've been called corrupt, and I've been called many things underneath the sun that you can think of to talk to a person. And the only problem with this person is this person also CC'd as many people as possibly could when it comes to this email. Uh, who do you think that makes look bad? In my humble opinion, looking at it now, on hindsight, it made that person that sent the email look bad. You got to play a cool hand when it comes to leadership. Yes, it may stink that you have to stand there and let the person air out their grievances, especially in front of anybody else. I could tell you, if you're frustrated, if you're angry, that is the wrong way to go. It's not gonna make the person that you're yelling at look bad. It's gonna make yourself look bad as well. If you're angry with somebody, if you're frustrated, if you're upset, talk to that person one-on-one -on -one and let them know your feelings. Don't just blurt it out into the email or the internet or social media in that fashion because it's going to question your maturity on some things. It's going to question how you're able to handle a difficult situation. And there will be other people out there that are connected to other types of businesses. And they would tell that person and that other person and that other person that they're not too sure if they want this person on their workplace. And that's going to put a whole lot of egg on your face. So if there's any type of frustration that you're dealing with, please, 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 please do not email, do not CC, do not do anything else in that particular that's going to make you look bad because once your anger is exposed, it's hard to get that certain type of reputation back to the point where you can be seen as a reliable person. I've seen this before and I can tell you that that is not a cool route to go to. As for that person that wrote that lovely email to me, questioning my leadership as district governor, I haven't seen this person in Toastmasters. I've not seen this person in a long time. And personally, with an angry letter like that, hopefully I will not see that person for a long time as well. As for you, if something frustrates you, if something bugs you, tell the person one-on-one -on -one what's going on, what's up. And if there's no type of agreement to it, just step back and just go on your merry way and just take this as a learning lesson. I've experienced this 
almost nine years ago when I was a district governor for Toastmasters. And I guess tell you this right now, being angry at somebody and spilling it out on any type of social media or email platform, not cool. This is Jessica Clear Third speaking, but before I go, if you want more plethora of positivity, go to YouTube, type my name, Jesse Oakley III, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, like, and share these videos with other happy people that you know. Until next time, you take care and have a great day. Bye.